standing in front of the UL Power engine. And I'm Dan Johnson talking with Robert Helms, who's going to bring us up to date on what's going on with UL Power. So one thing I want to ask you about right away, Robert, is in the past, we've asked you about ASTM, and you weren't too sure if the company was really going to go down that path or not. What's the latest information in that direction? Well, the engines, since they were designed, meet the ASTM standard. But uh, just after Oshkosh, uh, one of the senior partners of UL Power was at Oshkosh and, and walking around the grounds realized that there really is a need for it. So they, they made the decision they're going to go ahead and do all of the documentation and, and proceed with the ASTM standard so that we can do get into some of the SLAS uh, aircraft. So this is a decision made since AirVenture 2015 then? Correct. All right. Well, good luck with that. Oh, we'll come back and uh, keep posted on which of your many models uh, that you've got. So. Speaking of that, run us through just the top down of how many models there are and what they each offer. We have eight engines now from 97 horsepower to 200 horsepower. And wherever we can use the same components, we do. So all four heads, for instance, are used on all the engines. The injectors are all the same. So they're able to, to make eight engines with basically out of two different engines, the four-cylinder and the six. So they change pistons, get different compression for different horsepower. So we've got eight different models from 97 horsepower to 200 horsepower and they can all use automotive gas. One compression uses the 91 octane, the higher compression uses 93 octane. They can all use 100 low lead, and then up to 15% ethanol as well. Wow, okay. And so that's a wide range of engines, a wide range of horsepowers available from the UL Power. Um, how has it been going for you? How long, when did you start and how many engines have you got out in the U.S. now? And then maybe if you've got a world number, that'd be handy too. We started in the U.S. about four years ago and okay. Zenith was the first to do the firewall forward kit. So we have a lot of Zenith aircraft flying. In the U.S. we've sold about 200 engines okay. and then worldwide about 800 engines. And what's fun now is one, it's you know gaining popularity and the OEMs are starting to, to use it and offer it. But then also we've got on the bigger engines, we've got some really good thrust to weight ratios. So we've got some totally new airplanes. You know, Just Aircraft took the Rotex off at 100 horsepower and put our 180 horsepower basically on the same airframe. And so their takeoff and climb is outrageous. And in cruise, <laughs> they're only burning one gallon an hour or more fuel. Is that right? Wow. Yeah. Uh, well, we've seen a lot of airplanes uh, kind of embrace uh, higher power. Uh, and there, frankly, is not all that many choices on that in this weight class of airplanes. So it's great that you're offering a variety of options. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And, and there are... They're all options. It's a great word. When we did the engine panel the other night, and everybody, they're all good guys. There's good engines. Continental's good. Lycoming's good. There's a bunch of them. To us, you know, people think we're all enemies and we're competing, but it's a nice fraternity, and, and we're all friends, and it's just different alternatives. You know, if you're, you want to teach your grandkids about engines, you can get a Corvair and rebuild it, and it's awesome. You know, if you got a real tiny, tiny stole airplane, the Rotax is hard to beat. So it's just different options. That's great. Well, it was nice to see all of you perform together like that in a friendly and yet informative and lively manner. We're going to do some more of that. We're Good. going to call you up again there. Awesome. But there's something else you'd like to unveil for me. What have we got? Can we have your lovely assistant yeah. show us here? Go ahead and open it up there. All right. This is the Ellipse Spirit. It's an all-carbon airplane, and it's made in the Czech Republic. The UL Power dealer in the Czech Republic has been working with these guys for quite a while, and he's been pushing us to, to help them get it started in the U.S., so finally, uh, Ray Lawrence was over there on a trip to Belgium visiting the engine factory, and he decided to go over and he saw the plane, flew the plane, and he was so impressed with it, we decided to go ahead and help these guys out. So we've got two airplanes coming. It's an all-carbon airplane, and you can see it's got an elliptical wing. It's very efficient. We're going to put our 130 horsepower engine in it with the retractable gear model. It comes in fixed gear or retractable gear, but in the retractable gear model, we're estimating 175 mile an wow. hour cruise on five gallons per hour. Wow. And the standard plane, the range is about 900 miles, statute miles with reserve. With auxiliary fuel, you can fly 1,600 miles <laughs> on one. Well, some people one, can. I can't go me. that long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good for about two hours. Yeah, I've got to use some but, facility somewhere. We have looked at this airplane in Europe. It's not a brand new design. It does have this lovely all compound leading edge. And you can't really see it in the picture, but I'm going to point down here, there's a slot in the leading edge of that, a permanent slot, not a movable one, uh, that really seems to make this thing work well. I did not know it was quite that fast, though. Yeah, they started out that the slot really is for the lower speed. So on the sure, faster airplanes, they're thinking about making a new wing. They've already shortened the wing for the faster plane. And okay. they're thinking about just removing the slot because they really don't need it. 
And then in the uh, now the if fix you want to go real fast, no, correct, right, right, correct. It'd just be more efficient. It creates some drag at the higher speeds. Sure, of course it would. Yeah. And then with the fixed gear version, you can get the longer wing. You can fit in the light sport category, or you can go up to with the fixed gear version. You can go up to our 160 horsepower, so the UL390 IS, and they're wow. testing that just now. They're installing it in the Czech Republic, so we don't know the numbers yet, but the takeoff, climb, and cruise on that should be pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing so. Mm -hmm. This really came out of the Microlite movement, even though it may not be, in this country, it would not be light sport with retractable, but it's a light aircraft, oh, so with that kind of power light. on it, it should be quite impressive, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can take one wing before you install it on the plane and hold it by the wing route with two hands and pick it up. It's incredibly light. Is that right? Wow. Correct. And it's going to come in as experimental amateur built. Uh, you'll have, uh, you're have you going to give people some assistance, or how's it going to work? Yeah, it's a kid airplane. We're only going to do a couple of years. The manufacturer is very low volume. They're not doing very many worldwide. So we'll just do a couple of years. And we have a builder assist facility. Ray Lawrence helps us out. He's our director of service in uh, Sandersville, Georgia. And so he's going to help people build it there. Okay, great. So Sandersville, Georgia is where the initial buyers will go to Correct. construct their aircraft. Correct. Which they'll still have to do the 51%. They have to do the work, but you're going to give them some yeah, expert it's help. A, it's an amateur built experimental, and then we do the builder assist. And then uh, the builder gets to select their avionics and interior and such. And we're estimating the kit's about sixty five to 70000 depending upon options. The airframe? Correct. Okay. And then the... Uh, they engine everything else. Uh, builder assist will be about 150,000 total for a flying airplane. Okay. Well, for such a high performance airplane, that might be very interesting to people. It'll also probably do UL Power some good to get you just that much more attention. Oh, yeah. The it's media fun. will be all over a new design we haven't seen in this country. Well, where can we get more about this as you get closer to uh, launch date? We've got a uh, pretty active Facebook page. So if you go into Facebook and you search for the Ellipse, and then ellipsespirit.com is the manufacturer in the Czech Republic. So okay, any, of those, any one of those sources. We'll put those up on the screen for everybody. Thanks for talking to us about it. We'll have, we've done a video about the Spirit in the past, so you can find more about that. Lots of affordable aviation, including UL Power Engines, on bydanjohnson.com.